soy wax is used a lot today in the candle making community because it's known to be eco-friendly. Hi everyone, welcome to Kujo's Candle School. My name is Marie. In today's video, I will be talking about soy wax and some stuff that you need to know before uh, starting your candle business and before using soy wax. Um, I see that there are so many videos on soy wax, but I kind of wanted to come and make some few points here so um if you like what i'm about to say don't forget to share don't forget to thumbs up this video and also consider subscribing because i will be bringing more into this series guys before we get into it i want to say thank you to all my subscribers and especially to my new one thank you so much for the new subbies welcome 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 uh, on this channel we talk about candle making some tips and tricks and stuff that i have learned so thank you guys so much for subscribing before wasting more time you already know why you're here so let's get into it soy wax um is used a lot today in the candle making community because it's known to be eco-friendly so soy wax comes from soybean oil so that's why it's eco-friendly um soy wax has a, a subtle central because it holds up to 10% fragrance oil. But according to my research, um, if you add more than 7% fragrance oil, you might run into a uh, weak issue, which is a whole other topic for another video, guys. You really don't want to know about wicks right now. <laughs> I feel like this will be a great conversation. So if you are a soil wax uh, candle maker, Comment below what is your favorite thing about soy wax because when I used it, I did not like the fact that I had to deal with the um, the sinkholes. So let me know what is your favorite thing about soy wax and why. So guys, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like what I'm saying so far. And um, do not forget to share this and subscribe to this channel. So now that we have established that soy wax is a natural wax that comes from soybean, um, let's talk about how soy wax actually doesn't have any taxin or carcinogens. This is why soy wax is actually considered as quote unquote clean burning wax. Unlike paraffin does, soy wax doesn't contain petroleum. Uh, it does not release any uh, soot or like taxin in the air that we breathe. So that's really good. Another thing about soy wax is that it burns about 30 to 50% longer than paraffin. Soil wax has a better central. Um, since it's a natural wax that doesn't contain phthalate, it burns slower and gradually releases fragrance as it burns. Uh, rather than paraffin that actually releases an immediate overpowering wave of fragrance it actually stinks guys like my experience with paraffin wax um it really stunk it made my house smell like petroleum basic basically and if you are a paraffin user this is not an attack on you this is just my personal opinion but if you don't mind leaving me a comment below and let me know how you love your paraffin wax and what is so good about it that you love, I would like to know. Soil wax is from a renewable resources. Um, it is from bean, soybean, uh, which is eco-friendly, but it definitely requires large amounts of agricultural land and processing to make your favorite wax. So, is that really eco-friendly? I don't know, but it definitely is from soy beans. One thing that I really, really, really love about soy wax is because it's uh, budget-friendly and uh, it is cheaper than so many other waxes out there. So, that is really not bad if you are considering uh, using soy wax. Since I have now talked about all the pros in this video, I will move on and talk about the cons. Um, things that I don't like about soy wax is that uh, it tends to expand or contract 
cooler temperatures can cause your solar candle to shrink. This effect might be caused by either the characteristic of soil wax itself or the ch changes in temperature. So if you move your uh, candle from one spot to another, especially after pouring, might result in expanding or contracting or causing sinkholes. So it really depends. Also, soil wax is notorious for causing sinkholes. So just know that just in case. Soil wax can create frost marks in the candle as well so keep that in mind because it's known for that as well the second thing that i don't like about soy wax is that it's not flexible with all type of fragrance oil so well this could be fixed by running your test with many fragrances to see which fragrance works since soy wax is a soft or softer wax uh, it's really difficult to ship during summertime so make sure that your candle is wrapped uh, appropriately according to your weather and so that it does not melt um, when it's in transit to its owner um, so I don't know depending on your location and the weather it's it, it can get really hot and that can cause your candle to melt Some soil wax also contain pesticide. If you want a natural soil wax, make sure to ask your supplier uh, if your wax contain any pesticides or anything, especially like if you want a 100% natural wax, make sure you ask them if they did not add any additives in there uh, or anything hardener to make it hard or something like that. So just make sure you ask your supplier for that. Um, just like I mentioned before, this is my biggest problem is that it requires a large amount of agricultural uh, land to basically make soil wax. So I'm not quite sure if that's really eco-friendly, but then I also think that, well, if you do not, uh, if you don't have like farms available for soy wax, how can we get soy milk or soy beans or stuff like that, right? So I don't really know much about the agricultural part, but I know that I don't like the fact that we have to use a lot of land uh, to make soy wax alone. So if you really like what I had to say today, please don't forget to comment your opinion down below. Let me know what you think about everything that I talked about today. Uh, what do you like about soil wax? What don't you like about it? And why do you like paraffin wax? What don't you like about it? Please let me know because I would like to learn as I grow. And um, yeah, this video wasn't made to attack anyone. Uh, your preference is your preference when it comes to whatever your business requires you to have. So the fact that I don't like soil wax that much and paraffin wax doesn't mean that it's not good wax, but choose what works for you and not what's trending, guys. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, guys. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye.